it's not that deep. What do you think about my setup? What? Terrible. Well, you know what? At least they got them out there. Stack your plates. People are saying that as soon as you told her to do that, it made a massive difference. Remember how big it used to be? I feel like you're going not straight. Everyone's just the same. Whenever you notice that nose tipping in away from the ears, that means we're using too much inside rain. Ah, so that's what it is. You gotta ride off the outside rain and push them with your legs. Lovely part about your horse is you can completely steer him with your legs. The lovely part about your horse is you can completely steer him with your legs. Is he ignore it? So if he's ignoring it, you ask once, ask twice, follow up with a crack with your whip right behind your heel. He'll learn from that because he does not like that. That's right. There. Your leg means something. And he's going faster. So you ask with it, you ask with it, and then you tell him, this is what I meant, you will listen. We don't want to resort to using some other aid when he has to learn to listen to your leg. So if he wants to ignore you, we are going to wake him up and tell him he can't. If I ever whacked my horse with a whip, I, she would be at oh, your I'm house, good. and I would be gone too. Good bouncing butt. Outside rain. As soon as you see that nose tip, just give him a little half halt with your in outside rain. He's been doing that all winter, and I've been like, why is he doing this? He's pulling with her inside rain and bending his head in. I heard every answer but that. She's an inside rain rider. You're an inside rain rider, Gabby. Oh, rude. Brandon. <laughs> Same old name. Rambling on. Okay, so I'm gonna play this game. I have these Jolly Rancher candies with Fiona here. And I'm gonna put my hand in there. I'm gonna think of the color that I want, and then I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna believe that it's gonna be blue. It's not blue. I'm gonna believe that it's gonna be blue. It's still purple. All right, you try it. <laughs> what color are you going for? Red. Oh, you did it. <laughs> Because my, I was nervous. I did it like six times. Okay, not six times, but I did it like four times. Okay, so now I'm gonna go for, do they have orange? No. Are you Blue, sure? purple, red, green. Okay, I'm going for green. Red. Okay, I, I really wanted red. <laughs> I only eat red. I really wanted green, but I felt like I was gonna get red, so I said red. <laughs> oh, that's good. Purple. purple, see, it works, you guys. Gummy's like, <laughs> this is all, Gummy doesn't believe. You are a non-believer. 
<laughs> I want you guys to ride a figure eight hot dog style up the center line, please. Figure eight hot dog style? Yeah, so you're coming straight up the center line, changing direction. Straight up the center line, changing direction. Straight line. Left leg, left leg, left leg, left leg. Yes, well done. Yes, you. No matter how far you go, one second you have to stay on it. That's right, you gotta ride your line. That's out of my legs. So you, you picked it in the beginning, look up. Look at the door. Leg yield over a little bit, Gabby. There, now outside leg for your turn. There you go. When you make the um, turn that Sophie's about to make right now, Make that turn shorter so you're easier to turn by the shavings. So when you turn at the bottom, turn it this side of the open door. Okay. That'll give you a nicer ride up here. Much better. Good job on saving him from dodging early. So we are going to be riding side by side. So now that you've got this figured out, other than Sophie just did a massive turn there. Your next challenge, you're going to continue riding the same pattern, except you must canter the rail. Oh, I want to do that when I and have a lesson. And then trot right there, Gabby. Trot the corner, trot the center, trot the corner, canter the straight. I want to do that. So she's going to trot the corner. And canter the rail. Trot the corner, look up. You gotta ask sooner if your horse is gonna keep cantering on you. That's not a straight line. It is a lot of work to ask your horse to only canter seven strides. Ah, too early. Don't let him do the deciding. And Tino's anticipating now too, isn't he? Yeah. So, there. Now ride it, ride it, ride it, ride it, breathe. Good. And trot. When you want him to come down, Gabby, sink into your saddle and tighten your thighs. Let him feel your seat bones for the downward transition. Wait and go. Good girl. I would rather see him come to a dead halt down there when you ask him to trot. Wait, wait, and go. It's not an easy exercise, is it? Stay in full seat. So that's another part, that thing that's hard for her. Shrinking them for their arena. Hold your hand steady. Let him shake his head all he wants. There, that was better. When he starts to head shake, don't give in to him. Just say, fine, my hands are rocks. You deal with it. It's his, it's his deal if he wants to shake his head. You ride so solid and steady. So this exercise is not easy because your horses do have to compact their body. They have to be obedient, they have to listen. Soften your elbow, Gabby. Much better. All right, take a walk break. So set them up for success. Quiet your body. Quiet your hand, give him a pat on the neck, tell him to breathe, calm himself down. He's just anticipating. Okay, so we're gonna let him be for a second. I want you to just sit there. Ride in your light seat and let him do his thing. Door. No, sorry, the end of that door. So the end of the door, 
From there to the end of the shavings, right there, I want you to count how many strides he gives you as is. I'm gonna count with you so we get a consistency. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. See what he gets this same pace. And one. Perfect. Okay. I would like you to ask him to ride it in eleven. So that means a bigger stride without going too fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that was a shorter stride. So we want eleven. You want a bigger stride. We're gonna add a little bit of leg. We're gonna allow him to stretch his nose out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, you're getting there. You're back up to 12 now. One, two, three, four, leg, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Better. Now we're gonna shrink it back to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Beautiful. Thirteen. One, two. <laughs> so remember, 13's not a big difference in stride. 12 strides, it's literally only a, I'm taking a foot off each stride. So it's not a, a big deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Beautiful, fourteen. All we're doing is a rider. We're tightening the thigh quietly. We're half halting with our fingers and we're breathing. And a one, two, half halt, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Beautiful. We're aiming for fifteen. Chelsea's there. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep leg on. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Good. So remember, when you want to shorten a horse's stride, we're going sixteen. You need more leg than when you want to go faster. So Fiona just said that it was big that Gabby was able to get from 12 down to 15 strides on a big horse in a small space. And that's what Gabby's really been struggling with. That's what they're breathing. Good boy. Keep the leg on. Keep the leg on. There you go. Okay, so we're going to do it on this side now, counting from the right-hand side of the door. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Right away, we're gonna get 15 before we tire them out. Use your outside rein more than your inside rein, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh. Good recovery. 
Check the back knee and breathe. Two, one, one, two, three, jump. One, two, three and a half. Good. So notice how you're a little shorter before you get to that corner. That's what you're looking for. One more time. So that's all you have to do in lessons. I just kind of sat up and kind of like, oh. Because you did the exercise. Because you taught him, this is what, how I'm going to ride, and you do this. He that's goes, oh, so as soon as you landed this, you went, did the same thing, and he went, oh, right, I know how to do that. I figured that out. Right? So this is an exercise you can play with. Go and ride it and get 12, then get 14, then get 12, then get 16, then get 11. Like, change it up every time so he's not getting frustrated with just going short either, right? Always, and never go short more than three or four times in a row before you let him stretch again. But that's really good for him because then you're gonna be able to feel more comfortable riding in this arena. Like making a horse contract and lengthen is super hard. This was a really hard lesson for Chino. All that, he is soaked. Oh, you guys can't see it, but he has so much sweat in there, like, that was, yeah, that was a hard exercise, but that's good. Will that help with his bum now? Building yes. butt muscles? Oh, yes. Oh, oh good. Bum and back muscles. Using good, because he needs to build back muscles. So, all right, so we're done. It was a really hard lesson, but it was a needed lesson because Sophie, Sophie is all, Gabby's always been having trouble shrinking Chino in the arena. That's how you get a horse with a short neck, a, no, a long neck and short back, not a short neck and long back. Don't you know that you're beautiful?